Good day everyone, welcome to my pre-recorded discussion of our course G6, The Contemporary World. Since we already know about the globalization, its definition, and its positive and negative impacts, it is time now to learn the impacts or the effects of globalization issue to ASEAN countries. And for this discussion, I've chosen the Indonesia as one of the founding fathers of the ASEAN and climate change as the globalization issue. The title of this discussion is Indonesia, a susceptible country in the face of climate change. After this discussion, we will be able to learn why does the Indonesia become a susceptible country in the face of climate change and what makes it vulnerable. And also we will be able to learn um, what are the effects of climate change to the Indonesia's economy, human health, environment, and biodiversity. To begin with, Let's have first recall what is the meaning of climate change. Climate change is the changes in the average condition of temperature and precipitation in a region over a long period of time. And it is due to a certain gases in Earth's atmosphere that blocks the heat from escaping. Um, in fact, um, climate change was already happening in the past, but today we have this what we call the modern climate era wherein the climate change was mainly due to human activities and human excessive emits of greenhouse gases to atmosphere. Um, in fact, or basically, we need heat here in Earth in order for us to live, since greenhouse gases um, regulates the Earth's temperature and make it livable. But if there's too much greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, it will make the Earth warmer and it will cause climate change. This climate change results into severe floods and typhoons, increase the sea water level and melting of ice sheets. Since we already know or since we have the idea of climate change, let's learn why does this Indonesia becomes vulnerable to it and what are the impacts of this climate change into Indonesia's economy and human health environment and biodiversity so climate change in indonesia is receiving a lot of attention as the country is the world's third largest emitter of greenhouse gases which are the root causes of the current global climate change while the indonesia is apparently endowed with large natural resources the environmental degradation is continuing at a fast rate and unlike in most industrial countries Indonesia's greenhouse gas emissions are mostly the result of forest fires and environmental degradation. As a country extremely vulnerable to climate change, Indonesia must adapt to these various environmental pressures. Indonesia has also become a front runner in the entire national limelight due to the country's eagerness to reduce the greenhouse emission by roughly 26% according to World Bank in 2010. So climate change in Indonesia not only has implications for the country's environment, it also immensely affects its people and development. Indonesia's economy has been growing at a fast pace over the last two decades due to good economy policy and political stability. But however, climate change makes the task of development for poor countries an even harder challenge. The shock of climate change are already harshly left or felt in Indonesia with additional droughts, heat waves, and floods. Hence, if these effects continue to increase in Indonesia, it will pose an even greater threat to the country's development challenge. Although this problem was not just experienced by Indonesia, it was also experienced by almost all of the countries in the world. Although this um, climate change or this globalization issue was just not experienced by Indonesia, Indonesia becomes the world's third largest emitter of greenhouse gases and that is why they become one of the most vulnerable countries in the face of climate change. To know more about the Indonesia, let's have this small empirical background. Indonesia is the world's largest archipelago consisting of 
17,000 island and spanning across two biographic regions, which is the Indilalayan and Australisayan. Indonesia is home to the world's richest biological diversity of plant and animal life on the entire planet. That is according to USAID in year 2008. The country has the highest marine diversity in the world and the second largest area of rainforest. But however, along with the rich array of biological assortment in Indonesia, the country's emission of greenhouse gases is also severely increasing. So, samtang nakadako ang biological diversity sa kanang plant and animal life in Indonesia, nisabay po doga increase ang iyang emission of greenhouse gases, which is one of the mainly reason of climate change. So, if you observe this, um, this figure one, which is the evolution of Indonesian people in millions in year 1980-2006, from 150 million people or population, it increases into 220 million in year 2006, which is a fast rate in terms of population. And so, what are the effects of climate change in the economy and the poor of Indonesia? In this figure 9, we observe that the top climate-related hazard occurred in Indonesia was the floods and followed by the landslide and the waterborne diseases or so what we call the disease um, related in water, uh, mainly due to water pollution or some reasons. So climate change and the induced sea levels rise are going to drastically affect the agriculture sector in Indonesia and in turn those poor dependent on the sector. So if the climate change was not addressed uh, immediately, it will become a severe problem for Indonesia and its economy. And let's go to the effects of um, climate change to the human health. Human health in Indonesia will be both directly affected by the climate change as what we, we experience here in the Philippines. So yeah, it is true. Through the deaths from the floods and other disasters, and also indirectly affected due to the increase of infections and diseases. Just like what we've experienced here in the Philippines uh, during the Typhoon Agaton, so there are lots of people who have lost their lives and their properties. And as what I have known, uh, there are estimated 100 plus who have died or who have lost their lives during the Typhoon Agaton, and which is uh, specifically due to the landslide happened in the by by area and so going back the more frequent polong heat waves extreme weather floods and droughts will caused by the climate change will also lead into increased injury sickness and mortality the indirect effects of climate change include more widespread and extensive vector born diseases such as the malaria and dengue and it also lead into the expansion of waterborne diseases just like the diarrhea infectious diseases and poor nutrition due to the disruption of food production. So if we connect the effects of climate change to the Indonesia's economy and poor and for the human health, the most vulnerable was the poor. Since we already have the effects of climate change into the economy and to the Indonesia's poor and the human health, let's have these uh, effects of climate change in the environment and biodiversity of Indonesia since we all know that Indonesia was one of the largest biodiversity of plant and animals life in this entire world. Along with affecting the Indonesia's economy, poor population and human health, climate change also threatens the country's environment and biodiversity. As the precipitation changes, land use change and temperature increase over the last 20 years, um, the increase and in amount of intensity of forest fires and burned areas in Southeast Asia was also increases. I think this is the end of my discussion and hopefully there's something you have learned in this type of globalization issue happening in Indonesia. And so we can replicate it in our daily living here in our own country. Um, thank you for listening and have a good day.